What is going on? Welcome back. Zeke the Third hanging out with the Skybound people here. <laughs> San Diego Comic Con 2016. I'm here with my buddy Dan. How you hey, doing, Dan? Hey, Zeke. How okay. you doing? Now you're done talking. Yeah, day three. And uh, <laughs> I'm it. also sitting here with Lisa and Claudia uh, Hi from uh, uh, the Dalek. The Dalek. The Dalek. Right. There we go. The Dalek. Yeah. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about the Dalek. So you, you tell us. Part. Okay. I don't know who's um, going to tell me. Uh, tell me something. <laughs> the Dalek is a German publisher and developer of computer games, and uh, we come just like Stybound from a narrative, story-driven background, uh, doing uh, a lot of point-and-click adventures, so classic adventure games. Right and uh, narrative games are still uh, what we do best, so that's what we like. And Dan, stories. tell us a little bit about how you got these guys here. Yeah, so um, I met Karsten, who's the CEO of uh, Dedalic, a couple months ago. He was just out in Los Angeles. We met, started talking, and realized that the DNA of both of our companies was quite similar in the sense that <laughs> it was founded and uh, sort of run by uh, you know, writers and creators. And so we were like, well, okay, uh, that seems to make sense. Maybe we should try to do something together. But so. We're not doing something together yet. Did you have like the stepbrothers decided... moment? Like, did we just become best friends? Yeah, I think <laughs> <laughs> we sort of like each other. Mm -hmm. um, but we just said, hey, why don't you come out to Comic Con and join us, and we'll uh, get to know each other that way, as opposed mm -hmm. to like sending emails and trying to figure out like what to do. Let's just mm -hmm. do something. And so right. we invited them out, and they jumped, you know, they jumped on a plane and brought a bunch of their awesome games, and so that's it. I love mm -hmm. that, man. I, I love when artists come together, and you know have an opportunity to share their art with the world, you know, and open doors, you know, that kind of stuff. I would have never seen this stuff if you guys hadn't done that. So I'm really excited to talk with you, mostly since you're going yeah. to be doing the game playing yeah, exactly. of The Long Journey Home. Now, it's The Long Journey Home. The Long Journey okay. Home, yeah. Because on, on my sheet Don't it, says, it just the. says Long Journey Home. No. The is very important. The is very important. Exactly. Like the most important part of the game, you know, it's The, the, the Long the, Journey Home. It's a the, title. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell us about the game. Okay. Because I got a chance to play a little bit of it yesterday, and yeah. it is, uh, I'm a, a sci-fi nerd. I love sci-fi stuff, it's big great. fan, and this, especially like, the idea of being lost. Yeah, exactly. So it's about um, your crew. They wanted to make a light, a light jump, the first light jump in mankind, and it goes terribly wrong. You just end up in a completely different galaxy. So you have a long journey home to get home. Bro. Sure. So I'm just going to start up with a, a new jump mission. You're able to select a ship and a lander where you can land on planets. Mm -hmm. And um, you can select a crew, four out of 10 people. So we're just going to take a researcher, an engineer, astronaut, and he's like a kind Lumberjack. of Lumberjack. Yeah, he's like no. a. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah, that's, that, looks, that looks like me. He's, no, he's, thin, he's like a very arrogant guy, but he's like, he's very uh, intelligent, so we're just going to take him with us too. So, yeah, and now we get to the launch code. That's like a very special part of the game. We're just going to name the galaxy. We're in Skybound. Um, this code, the special thing about this code is that um, you can share with your friends. Like mm -hmm. the, the code um, gives you a procedurally uh, generated galaxy. Like everything is like really random and like very individually. So you can share with your friends. You can just tell them that they uh, enter Skybound and they're gonna play the exact same galaxy as you played. Right, and that's but, an important thing to to to, to uh, re mention is that these are procedurally generated uh, uh, quests. Yeah, exactly. Like that. So if you want. Uh, in the future, if you want to play the same quest that somebody else played, you can enter this, like the launch code. And yeah, it's do more it. about like how the galaxy looks. Like the quests are still also randomly. So if your friend oh, okay. plays, if the friend, your friend can play the same galaxy, but the quests are like random. So he's gonna have a complete different uh, experience as you had. So you can share like what you did in the galaxy and what he did and how he got um, home. So Super. very cool. Yeah. So we're just gonna uh, name it Skybound, and we're gonna start up with the demo, it already happened. Like we already did the light jump and it went wrong. So we're now on a procedurally generated planet. Okay. And you see down here, you can see um, where you can like interact with. So we just- Oh yeah. Gonna, uh, yeah, they can't see where you're pointing. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to show it to yeah, you. Yeah, you're, you know? you're, you're pointing at a monitor. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. No, no, you can see at the, bo <laughs> at the, the bottom, bottom of the game, yeah. you see like there's a blue triangle, there's what looks like a red house looking shape. Yeah, that's There's a green triangle and stuff like that. Those are points of interest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that kind of thing. And you can see the terrain at the bottom too. Yeah, exactly. So we're just gonna head here. 
to see what's Whoa. up here. Whoa. Market, parallel parking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we're going to investigate that location. The flyer. So we have an ancient carving here. We can decide if we want to take it or not. Uh, it really has, it's going to have an impact on your whole story because either there are alien races there, so it means if you take it, either alien race could get mad at you because you took it and stole it somehow, or an uh, alien race would be happy that you can give it to them and maybe you can trade it in for something you need uh, later in the game. So we're just going to take it, because why not? Right, and all your <laughs> actions um, have consequences and yeah, stuff like that. Exactly. And, there's, and there's different, like you were telling me before, there's different ways you can go about, like, uh, with every every like different uh, obstacle that's put in your way, yeah, you, you can solve it in many different ways. Yeah, exactly. So, like I said before, you have alien races here. So it depends. You have like moral choices also, which uh, are about the alien races. Like every alien race is connected with each other, and um, so if you're friends with one alien race, maybe another one will hate you for it that you're uh, friends with the alien race. You know, I don't it's, know if I want to be friends with aliens. Yeah. That just gave me from my friends, you know, I don't like that at all. Yeah. I, thought I, you already, I already, already have friends like that. Aren't yeah, you, aren't you I have alien? enough friends, so I don't know. Yeah, we're the, like, <laughs> the alien in this, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, we're aliens anyway, too. Yeah. So that's now the overview of the, of the, like, we're in that solar system. I just got away from the planet. And we can leave that orbit right now. And that's how you get a, uh, around in the, in the solar system. So um, I can show you how to... And that's another thing that I that I immediately noticed is that uh, you see like the the fabric of of space, yeah, and you see it actually curving and bending due to gravity. Yeah, exactly. So every planet has its own gravity too, so it's always very special. And like I, I would love to show the sun because you just see the visual feedback. You know, like your ship is getting all. <laughs> it's not good for your ship if you're going too close to the sun. Oh sure, I mean there's yeah. gravity, there's magnetism, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and here up, uh, uh, yeah, you can't see fire. it, and on the um, fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and fire, fire. Good one. So, um, I'm just gonna sh make a light jump so you can see where we l actually are in the galaxy and in the whole That's universe, and where we have to get home, or how, we, what we have to pass so we can get home. So here you have a quite big overview of the galaxy and um, these are different little solar systems you, you can enter and you have a certain jump range so you can just uh, jump to the different solar systems to get to move forward in the game and so we have to so that, get that circle hold on go back <laughs> okay, real I'm gonna quick get, I'm gonna get. that circle is the only yeah. we can only jump within that circle yeah. now just show them the scale of the game yeah so we have to get all the way <laughs> <laughs> up here <laughs> to that little yeah tiny, to that little tiny little thing dwarf star yeah. that we yeah. call our so, soul yeah. yeah so we're just gonna uh, make a, a jump to another solar system so we can so I can show you how it looks which is which one would you like to go to uh, let's go to uh, uh, oh Rakos has a star base yeah you can trade with alien races too so uh, there are star bases and black markets and stuff like that so let's go there I'd love yeah, to check those go out. <laughs> see what they have so we'll see what's up in that solar system see yeah space pirates yeah they are you can, you can <laughs> also fight in the game you, ha you have a combat mode too like oh, really? okay. it's so so many things are possible so we're just gonna enter this, this is like a quest mark so we'll see what's up there. I kind of like I like that on the overview map. It looks like it looks like the ship from Asteroids. Or like Starcraft. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now we just found a ship that's obviously damaged, and he's calling us. Uh, an alien probably inside there. I don't know. There. If I don't know who it is, I always ignore the call. <laughs> we should just get away, right? <laughs> I, I swipe. Call anymore. Now. I'll talk to you. It'll, it'll leave a message. Yeah. Well, we're gonna answer. Yeah, it, you so. can. <laughs> So this is uh, one of the alien races called the Gluck, and um, he just his ship crashed, and he wants us to take him with us, uh, uh, with him. So we're just gonna dock he's on. Cute. Yeah. yeah. He, he looks like, like he's, he looks like he'll play some me some music or something. <laughs> 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 so we're just gonna take with him. Okay. Oh, he's a Gluck. Gluck. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So um, and the cool thing is when you take an alien race with you. You can just, that's like your uh, inventory and you can just do different things here. 
like you have an overview of your ship, mm -hmm. you have an overview of the um, stats of your uh, lander, you have a database where you have your missions, you have a cargo where you can repair your ship and your lander, and you have the quarters and now the little guy is sitting, right, it? Yeah, <laughs> sitting right there <laughs> and just <laughs> hanging with your crew, you know, he's drinking a coffee with you guys. So it's that's great. Yeah. He brought, yeah, I see he's got a picture of his wife and his Yeah, he brought there. everything with him. Or, or maybe person. his husband, her maybe, husband. Maybe, yeah, maybe, you, I don't you, know. You, every race is different, like it's a cultural clash, so you're not know, sure man, how they are. character Zeke doesn't look too happy. Happy, man. He's like, yeah, you know, he looks very yeah. I mean, his ship crashed and he just lost everything. Um, <laughs> he, just, uh, he, he just, he just sad that there's no suspenders out in space. He can't yeah, get yeah. Oh, he took his seat. Yeah, <laughs> he took my seat. Okay, yeah, so, so uh, we don't have a lot of time. So, yeah. uh, tell me uh, when, where we can get this. Like, do you have any sort of information on that front? Like, yeah, I, I think, want to buy your game. Yeah, you want to buy I it? I want to buy the game. Yeah, okay, that's great already. Uh, probably it's going to get, come next year, beginning of next year, uh, like we'll, March. We'll, we're publishing it on, on PC and consoles, so yeah. Xbox uh, One and PlayStation 4. And so we're probably going to launch it on PC first, and then consoles uh, probably early next year. Probably the best yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah, I guess um, so. Yeah. so uh, early next year, you said? So yeah. early 2017, like Q1 2017, yeah, something Q1, like that? something okay. like that. The long journey home, it looks yeah. awesome. I like how much detail there is in it. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, you there's, have so there's many details. possibilities. Yeah. yeah, and the details procedurally generated. Yeah. Uh, aliens, you know, space flight. Exploration, it's, Starcraft yeah, asteroids. Yeah, we also call it an inverted <laughs> RPG because you start up like with your ship perfectly equipped and your crew is like fine and after a while you just have to hold everything together because it's just like it's an inverted RPG you can't like upgrade right. and, and that's, what, like, that's what she said she yeah. like you are there like on a shoestring budget you like you <laughs> exactly. have to like manage your resources yeah. and all that kind of stuff I like yeah. and if you die like your ship explodes what happens you die yeah you die you die Thermodest. yeah you, you managed to, to do again. that didn't you you yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> did no, you I died did. quickly yeah. excellent well the long journey yeah. home look for it Q1 of 2017 thank you very much Claudia, thank you very much, Lisa, no and Dan, thank you as well. Don't go anywhere. We got lots more from the Skybound studio here at San Diego Comic-Con. We'll be right back.